At this point, I've probably reviewed over 35 different e-bikes. I've got to test them, ride them, compare them to each other. And after doing all that, the one thing that I've come to appreciate a lot in an e-bike is the way that it actually rides and how it feels to actually operate it. All the third-party accessories are nice add-ons, but the one thing that is most important to me is just the comfort of how it rides and operates. And a lot of times on cheap e-bikes, you are lacking that and the riding performance doesn't feel that great. But this e-bike is the V-Rook. It's from Surface 604. This company has been around for like 11 years and they make a product that I feel like it's a good riding experience. Yes, it does have some limitations to it, some things that I think could be improved on this e-bike, but that's what we're gonna get into in this video. I wanna go through its features, how it rides, and the pros and the cons of it. So let's get into it. Starting off, the first thing that really helps with the riding experience is the torque sensor that they use. I feel like it's very responsive compared to some of the other torque sensors that I've tested out where those sometimes have a little lag to them. This one feels like as soon as I'm touching down on the pedals and giving it power, the e-bike is right there and it gives me assistance. And then as I back off on the pedals, it also backs off. So no matter whatever pedal assist level I'm in, one, two, three, four, or five, I can choose to ride it slow, I can choose to ride it fast, and it kind of just responds to how I'm operating it. So. It's a really smooth riding experience. Another thing that helps with that are these Tektro hydraulic brakes. I'm a big fan of hydraulic brakes. They stop the e-bike a lot safer and a lot more abruptly without having to really squeeze down on the brakes. It's just easy to operate. Something else that is gonna help with the comfort of this ride is gonna be that it has front suspension up here. It has 80 millimeters of travel. And then they have these nice tires on it that I think they make in-house. And these feel like they're made out of a little bit thicker rubber than some of the other tires I've tested out. So these will help going over top of stones and I feel like they'll be a little more puncture resistant. The seat on this is very sleek and slender, which a lot of people prefer, but I personally like the thicker, more cushiony seats. That's just my taste. I do, however, like the handlebar setup. I like that they're swept back, and I like that you can adjust the stem to either raise them up or lower them down a little bit. I feel like this puts me in an upright position while I'm riding it, and it feels very comfortable and leisurely to actually operate this. I feel like the ergonomic setup is really nice. The hand grips have a nice stitching on them, but they are a little bit stiff to squeeze. And then they have a left-handed thumb throttle in your control panel next to that, which operates your screen, which shows all your metrics very cleanly. I like that the battery is in an actual number percentage, so you can have a more specific indicator of how much battery life you have left. This also comes with integrated light, so it has a bright headlight up front and then a nice tail light in the back that actually shines brighter as you squeeze the brakes to signal to people that you're stopping. One thing I really enjoy about this e-bike is the nine speed trigger shifter. I like that when you ride this at faster speeds, it gives you more resistance in your pedals. The one thing I did notice with this when I was riding up hills is that if you wanted it to reach its top speed of 20 miles an hour, you did have to put a little more effort into the pedals to get it there. You can always rely on the throttle which I did a lot of times going up hills but if you want to actually pedal and reach your top speed going up a hill you have to put in a little more work. You can also choose to unlock faster speeds to get this e-bike up to 28 miles an hour. The C-Bike also comes with a 500 watt motor, which got me around where I needed to go. It also comes with these nice solid fenders to keep your e-bike a little bit more clean. Taking a look at the frame on this V-Rook, I really like that it's a step-through frame, that way it's easier to get on and off of, but then I also really enjoy that they integrated a rear rack right into it as well. This usually means it's gonna have a higher weight capacity than just those third-party racks that they toss on with some screws. This feels a lot more durable and a lot more resilient. The one thing I don't love about this frame setup though is that the battery is just plopped on top here. I like personally when it is embedded into the frame so it looks a little bit sleeker and cleaner. This one not only sits on top but it also spills over the edge here just on the left hand side so that doesn't look as appealing. 
and it doesn't look symmetrical either because nothing sticks out on the right hand side just the left hand side so that's a little bit peculiar i think they could have made a little bit better design choices to make it look more appealing it might not necessarily be more functional if it's embedded into it but at least it would look a little cooler <laughs> I will say this though about the battery, it does give you a good long range. I think on their website, they advertise that it'll get you up to 65 miles on one charge. From my own personal findings, I was more in the 50s, but I was riding this a lot harder. I was riding it in pedal assist four, pedal assist five. I was throttling and I still got really good range on it. So the battery life seems to be pretty good quality. And then with this e-bike, they also included a front rack that you can hold some stuff up here, which is a nice touch as well. The last thing I want to mention is that at the time of this recording, this e-bike comes in at a price of $2,500, which is a little bit more expensive for an e-bike. However, they do use good components on this, but you're going to have to decide if that's worth it to you. Overall, I've been enjoying taking this around my neighborhood and riding it. It's been a lot of fun and a blast, and it's a smooth ride. That's what I love most about it. So there it is, the V-Rook from Surface 604 e-bikes. Check it out if you want to. I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on another one.